What's going on everybody, C4, welcome back to the channel. Today we're for episode 16 of our Madden 23 Carolina Panthers franchise and we have a lot of football to get through today. It is a doubleheader. We are finishing out the regular season as we get to take on the <laughs> number one seed in the NFL as it stands. Week 17 on the road against Tampa. Then week 18, a 10-win Saints squad. Two teams that are firmly in the playoffs but something that you may have missed if you didn't watch that last week, which was an utter dominance over Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions, the Carolina Panthers have the final seed in the we. It's like not only do we have the final seed, but we have to beat the one seed in the final. It's almost like our playoffs start here today because I, I truly do believe that we have to win two of these games. If we go one and one, the chances of us staying in a playoff spot, if you know, 50-50, Right, like if we go nine, if we finish this thing with nine wins, Cardinals could finish with nine wins, Lions could finish with nine wins, Giants could finish with nine wins. Giants would have the tiebreaker over us. I mean, I don't know if it goes head to head right away. Probably sh it doesn't. It should honestly. Let's let's adopt that NFL head to head should be the first set of tiebreakers. But either way, I mean, we at least you know beating Detroit was and how badly we did beat them was massive. Uh, in that match, we just had so many interceptions, so many turnovers, and offensively, we had great starting field position. That game was won by our defense. But as we look at it, we are going to have to win. You know, I I'm terrified of the Cardinals there. I, I don't know who they're playing. I don't know. You know, hopefully they're playing some combination of teams ahead of them in the playoff order. But all I know is they're probably playing bottom dwellers or something stupid like that. But we can only focus on what we can control, and that is these two games. Uh, we are coming off that 54-14 victory where both CMC, CJ Henderson had back-to-back -back pick sixes. You got to pick six. Literally, kick the ball off. Detroit comes up the next drive. CJ Henderson, pick six. I don't know if I've ever had that happen to me before in a Madden franchise. That was awesome. And I will say, even though we see CMC having a great game, if that doesn't trigger like a breakout scenario for CJ Henderson, like what more does he need to do? So I have been uh, slowly catching up in all the comments over the last uh, two videos. And uh, the two most common things, well, one was a question that I asked that you guys gave me some feedback on. And one was, C4, have you gone and fixed the suspended players? And uh, I did. I have. So we had DeAndre Hopkins. We moved him because of the suspension. He is now back at wide receiver. And you had at quarterback for the Chicago Bears, Deshaun Watson is back doing his thing. Now, my biggest issue, I was like pleading for you guys to give me a suggestion on how to fix the lack of X-Factor art that is on the field while we play and i got a suggestion and it was someone that said they had to they had the exact same issue that i had this i had on field visual feedback off just because you look at it, it's like enable disable text and prompts that display during the game mode passing catching tackling and pass rushing that just seems like you're gonna have those tutorial blurbs constantly on the field i don't need that i'm a monster at this game but for the most part sometimes kind of but this apparently is what has X Factors on. And I noticed I've, I've just kind of messed around with pink slips a little bit with this on. I, I think this is the fix. I mean, I will complain if it's still not there. But I think that this is going to at least let us know when Christian McCaffrey is in the zone. And uh, for that, that is something that we very much need. So now that it, we got a lot of football, man. We got a doubleheader. I'm not going to hold you guys up too much here in this intro. There's not a lot we need to do. First up, we have our team meeting here about this massive game against Tampa. This would be upset of the year. First game against Tampa, we were freaking close. We were so close to beating them. Debatably, I cost our team that victory with terrible play calling. Like, there was field goals we couldn't take. We were too aggressive at the wrong time. So we can get an opportunity to get revenge, beat the Buccaneers. Our players are waiting to avenge this loss. They will plus five break tackle, plus five play wreck. Well, wow, does that mean Chris McCaffrey finally will break the first tackle? I hope so. Does that mean some of my DBs might actually jump when they're supposed to jump? I hope so. But it is time for... And it's, it goes without saying. Almost at this point, because it is like we're getting into the playoffs. You know, this is our biggest game of the season. But a chance to avenge what would have been upset of the year earlier in the year. I, I think for that is pretty good. So looking at the Bucks here, they're not particularly strong at running the football this year. Even though they have talent, Leonard Fournette is an 88 overall, but they are a top five passing offense. They love to show the th short throws because, you know, old noodle arm Brady there. So we'll try our best to get a buff there. And they are terrible 
as it relates to stopping the pass, even though they have, again, great players back there. Antoine Winfield, um, Jamel Dean is there as well. So we'll, yeah, we'll go short pass and we'll focus all about the short pass. Let's get through practice here this week, fully healthy. Last week, there was a, an injury that could have absolutely derailed the entirety of the season when Keith Taylor went down. Hopefully, he's going to be healthy here today. Defensively, it is going to be a full-strength defense. Offensively, come on, for the love of God, please be healthy. Let me at least get through the skill position players. Healthy. Both sides of the ball. This team is ready to go. We also have 48 staff points available. And with this, I honestly, I, I want to get, and because they're only 10-point upgrades, I want to start to get extra... Uh, after school tutoring, which gives us extra players that we can on every single week get them training. Now, <laughs> it's getting ready to be massive investments. I'm, I'm hoping that at least by the end of the year we can uh, unlock an additional fourth slot for training. But this is how I almost like in all my rebuilds. As soon as we get the first set of unlocks for player growth, I then prioritize getting our three extra training slots. And then I go back here and we two of two all of these XPs. And then honestly, how I kind of go about it is from here, I go here and into player personnel because this is something that they don't get poached. There's a chance that one of our OCs, DCs, or maybe you want to fire Matt Rule at some point, but your player personnel in the tree, you know, it's, it's untouchable and it's valuable with how free agency works in this game. And hell, with how limited our salary cap spot is, maybe if we had some of these things prioritized, we wouldn't be worried about whether or not Baker Mayfield would be able to come back next year for financial reasons. So let's go, man. We have the Bucks. It's very early in the morning. I have no war. I am not warmed up. I'm already coming with the excuses. I'm a little bit worried, but we'll try our best. Oh, we get the home. Who's that? Derek Brown gets home on the sack opening drive. That does not bode well. They're not going to be blocking that guy. Third and 10. Lay the hit. Oh, it's a big crunching hit. Jeremy Chin, Shaq Thompson, but he's able to move the chains. Julio Jones, career resurgence. A career of owning the Panthers, unfortunately. Go. Great tackle, Roquan. Third and long coming up. I mean, this is Riley Cox. They get a couple yards and they might be in four down territory. I don't like this matchup. We're going to try and win against worse with Brian Burns. It just took way too long. It's at the sticks, and we can't make a miss. Playoff Lenny. I get it. This is a playoff game. Big play for him. Man, I think Roquan got deleted on that one. I respect that, man. Slant. Easy slant to Mike Evans. I do the exact same thing. Great drive from Tampa. We need to respond. Oh, great timing pass. LaVisca should know in it to pan. Ooh, no, we're in the buck territory. We're going to get a quick pass. They're going to give us easy throws. LaVisca should know. Let's hit our superstar wide receiver. Ooh, slants. Baker's in a rhythm right now. One more completion. We're at least in scoring range. Bad throw. Third and one. Again, actually... <laughs> Vita Bay ate that up. Somehow CMC gets that first out. Very lucky. Can't eat a sack here. We got points on the board. We also will cheat. A, we'll, we'll cheese a little bit. We'll throw a Texas route for CMC. I am looking Visca Chanel. Oh, that's going to be close. Fourth, go for it. Please let me go for it. It's like it's a playoff game. You're not kicking that. It's a playoff game. House rules are house rules. When in more often than not, we'll go with what the coach says. And hey, we lost against the Bucks last time because we weren't taking the field goals. It wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just me feeling that. The, the common comments in the question in, in the comment section were C4. You didn't take the points. Take the points when you can. Hopefully it works today. Oh man, I'm starting. I'm starting to get the hang. Like right now, I'm getting better with dropping back in coverage with linebackers. It's more so, you know, run support, Just committing to our gap, finding our way through traffic. It's a work in progress. Mike Evans is wrecking us right now. Oh, 
Oh! Just can't miss! Again, can we please not settle for field goals? They're not. There's those third and three. I just want to, you know, we don't need a big play here. Just let me keep the drive going. Tommy trembles where I want to go. Fire across the middle at the sticks. Drive continues. Oh! I, I, I need my guys to block better. And that's Thomas, who I've dapped up his blocking all year long, but he gets a block there. That's a touchdown. All right, here's a big play. This is, a, this is what we call the Jalen Ragger play. This play was in our Eagles playbook. And B's almost always open. LaVisca Chanel. Might not be a touchdown, but this should put us right in the red zone if we can get this throw off. Boom. It's the best play. It's the best play in Madden. I don't care why you say that play is the best play in Madden. Second and goal. I'm going to be looking for CMC right away out the backfield. Oh, that took way so super long to develop. Third and gold. Is this where is this where Chuba? Like I just hope we're in four down territory. To be honest with you, if we if we're if I'm I'm running this with the idea that we're just gonna say like seize on line, let's go for it, because this play has been pretty good for us. As we take the wrong game, doesn't matter. Chuba Hubbard punches it in, baby. That's his ninth rushing touchdown of the season. He also took a massive chunk off the momentum meter there for the Bucks. Let's go, man. We're still here. We need to bend, not break here. Third and four on our 30. Mine. I'll take that. Pick seven on the year, JC. Or pick seven on the year, baby. I'll take that all damn day. Oh, you almost caught it too. I mean, we weren't getting it with the run anyways. Giving up on that drive. Hey, at least JC Horn got a pick. Maybe some more confidence on the defense. No, oh, I got cooked. I got cooked. You know what? That was Madden 10 years ago. I had a super linebacker. That would have been a pick. Just keep him out the end zone. Keep him out the end zone. I think that's nine. Think that's nine for number eight. Let's go. All right, that's about as, as bad of a way you can start your opening drive of the second half as you possibly can. Try to throw that away. Just wasted this drive, man. Just can't believe. Just wasted the drive. No, I didn't. Oh! That's head scout Keith Taylor right there. Does Quez Watkins make that play? Beautiful, man. Oh, man. Start off with the fumble, recover, almost sack, from almost catastrophic beginning. And then we just get an 80 yak. What a play. Go and we'll just take over this game right now. Brian Burns gets his sack. I don't even know what he's at the year. 15, 16, 17. No! Oh, jump! I mean, it needs to be said. Even though we got a lot of momentum so far in this game, this has been, you know, I think it's been dominated by the by. I think they have 300 yards to our like 150. They have double our yards close to. Third and five, it doesn't matter. You can move up and down between the 20s. It's about what you do in the money zone. Third and five. Mother. God damn it, these tight ends. Paul oh, will take that. We'll take that massive TFL. Brian Birch, JC Horn, Gross Matos all there on the play. Third and 14. They're outside field goal range now. 
just uh, that will be coverage. Watch this, these fucking tight ends. And there we go. I mean, they just take the check. They might attempt a field goal. Could. I mean, they got a little kick. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to punt it. Great stand from the defense. Oh, man, if we get the run going against, in my opinion, the best run defense in the NFL. Start chewing, chewing apart this game here a little bit. We got the lead. They know I like the check down there, man. They did their homework. I wasn't looking anywhere else. That whole time I was like, I'm going to hit Tremble. We're going to get like five, six yards here. It's on me. There we go. He doesn't get Roquan meets him in the hole. That's a TFL third and goal. Can we get a goal line stand? An epic goal line stand here to hold him to a field goal. We're going to watch Roquan out the backfield. Right, we're going to be Roquan. We're going to watch Lenny out the backfield. Hopefully this isn't a run. Just couldn't get there. Just couldn't get there. Hesitated maybe a little bit, but fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Linebacker blitz. Snow picked him up. I mean, we had the running back bailing out the backfield. That's probably why. Okay, we'll go four verts. Oh. You, you. Matt Rule gets fired if he doesn't go for this. I will. Right now, to build it, I will go with whatever he does. Goes for it, we go for it. He wants the points. Maybe that's the right call. Let's go. Let's go time, baby. Chuba Hubbard. He's already got one fourth down. He got us a touchdown. This is his biggest run of the day. And we follow our blockers easily getting the first down. Let's go, baby. Oh! We broke attack. It's our plus five broke attack. Oh, yes. CMC, where has that been? Let's go. It's his best run of the year. Saving it. Best for last. Look at this. Gets the outside. Shrugs that guy off. Through the traffic. Finally breaks the tackle. Horrific tackling from the Bucks, but we'll take that. That looks like us. That looks like the Panthers tackling. I got to start taking these points. I got I to gotta start. It's a habit. It's a bad habit. I just got to start kicking the points. That's embarrassing. Man, Leonard Fournette is running really hard. For what was their, like their rushing offense was like 23rd. Surprising us here today. Oh, no, no, no. Very, ah. I think she could have made a better play on that, honestly. I almost feel like we let them score the touchdown and then just give our offense a chance. But also, this is where Braves been throwing picks. We could get a game ceiling interception here. The bad match, man. I mean, Dante Jackson's like 130 pounds. But we got, we got time. And at least if there's some form of silver lining, that extra point, you know, it wasn't like they kicked a field goal on that extra point, 100% bites us in the ass. Ooh, you suck. I tried to get it up before that route finished. It looked... It, like I needed like half a second. And Mims was gone. Oh, and they take the... Fuck the Bucks. Classless. Alright. Pressure's just on. I mean, just Brady cooked us. 
Brady absolutely could. We we couldn't. We didn't get a single pass to DJ Moore. Zero. I mean, um, Baker touchdown, two picks. He didn't have his best game, but again, that last interception is just. I think we had something there. We just threw it too quickly. CMC had a good game. Hunter on yards. Chew Bobber, he only had four carries. Felt like all four of those carries were big plays for us. Had that touchdown as well. Visca Chanel with that big broken attack of the yards after catch where it was outstanding. Eight catches, 174 yards for him. Defensively, I mean, just, you know, they just worked the middle of the field. We knew that's what they are going to do. 15 tackles, Roquan, 12 for Shaq Thompson, 12 for Jeremy Chin. We got three TFLs, two sacks, Derek Brown. He's absolutely getting a game ball. Brian Burns had a sack. Two picks for J.C. Horn. But, you know, there's a reason why the Bucs are the number one seed in the NFL right now. The best team in the league. They don't make mistakes. We made mistakes, and now there's a lot of pressure on that Saints game season finale. So follow from Week 17 going into Week 18. The good news is silver lining. We still hold on to the final wildcard spot in the NFC. Now, we do have whatever tiebreaker, because there's other teams sitting on eight wins as well as the Cardinals have eight wins, the Lions have eight wins, and there's still a chance for the Giants and Bears. But... What's the odds they, they all win this week? You know, we're, we probably are going to... It always came down we had to win one. I was not expecting any way, shape, or form us to make the playoffs by losing both games today. But maybe... The, I mean, if all those teams lose, you know, we hold right now. It's our spot to lose. Uh, NFC Defense Player of the Week goes to J.C. Horn. Six tackles, two interceptions last week. Uh, I mean, back-to-back -back weeks, we have a defensive back getting an award. And actually, both of them are up for upgrade here. So first up, we have C.J. Henderson... And we're, we're going to spend that in slot. Usually, and honestly, slot is the, the best spot I like to upgrade because it's a little bit of both. You get a little bit of man, you get a little bit of zone. And a lot of times, if you upgrade, uh, upgrade slot, you get, the, you get like a plus two straight up base overall rating for your corners every now and again. But both these guys here have an outstanding seasons. He go up dev do you see this I... right there defensive player of the week superstar dev jc horde yes and i think when you look at the stats deserves it absolutely deserves the dev trade uh much like you know i would have been nice to see henderson get the breakout for back the back pick sixes J.C. Horn has taken this game to another level this season. 76 tackles, 8 interceptions, and he gets a superstar death. That, that is a, an improvement, a quality of life improvement to Madden 23 franchise mode is that there's more ways than ever to get in-season dev trade scenarios. And also cool that it spoils J.C. Horn making the Pro Bowl. Saints week. I think we know what they like to do. It's that, man. Almost a top five rushing offense. So we are going to do everything in our power to make Jameis Winston have to beat us. They are very good at, well, very good. It's relative. But they are pretty damn good at stopping every level of pass except the short throw. So that'll be back-to-back -back weeks. That is what we try to target. Let's get through practice here. Hopefully healthy. If not, I would hate to, you know. Keith Taylor's just waiting for a reason, to, someone to call his number. Defense healthy. Offense. Um, I mean, they're not particularly great players, but Bradley Christmason is out, and our starting center, Bradley Bozeman, is out. I'll say this. I, I felt like we were missing a little something last week. We're going to give Keith Taylor in, in a game that's all or nothing. We'll give him the opportunity. I mean, Xavier would still get on the field as our third safety, but I feel like if someone's going to elevate the rest of this team, it's going to be Keith. And with the injury to Christensen, that's his name, Brady Christensen. Oh, what have I been calling him? Uh, we're going to get Deontay Brown off the practice squad, old Blastoise himself, and hopefully he can hold down that spot. Hit a 150 on the dash, burns rubber when you pass in a swim move, get us to the Bahamas. How to 
gon' talk like a MC. See me, I see him, see him, hit a side step and I'm a goner. One, two, three quarters down in the C4 sound, cause the chip coming back to Carolina. And they be like, calling it a fluke when we went to 50, we back now. Keekly only Luke, we don't need the force for the smackdown. Say you in the field, but you never leave in your area. You end up DOA when you went to Bank of America, so back out. This is all pound for the pound, y'all looking down for the count, making it out of the south. Fuck you, me. Notice the talk of the town, Matt got us ruling the round, never would step out of bounds, honestly. Where my drums go, homie, where my drums go, let them keep pounding, I load it up and unload. Let's go. We mixed it, Matt. I, th I made what I thought was the best uniform combination I possibly could. The alts, the color rush with the white pants. Yeah, look good to play good, baby. Clearly. Let's go. That's how you start it. That's how you start it, man. We're missing guys on this hole? I don't think so. Win and we're in. Win and we're in. No. <laughs> Fucking terrible throw. Fucking terrible. Like, when I do anything that's at the sticks, it's 80% chance I'm making the wrong call and I'm throwing an easy pick. That's why I don't do stuff. I don't do curls. Curls suck. I suck at throwing them. Fuck me. Needs to be said. We've had issues with our offensive line. Ikea Kwan has been very good this year. Like, I feel so confident running towards his side of the field. Chuba, right up the middle. They can, I mean, even if we got to run an offense like a Naval Academy here, it's working. P.I.? JBL just like, JBL back there in the same secondary just clothesline from hell, my guy. No P.I.? Third and seven. Again, this is, when playoffs are on the line, we're going to do every cheap trick in the book. Which is gonna be a lot of audibles to CMC here. Like I got, I gotta break even. I won't be able to like live right if I can't break even and make up for that pick six. Does this even work? All right, I got I got my control. I got the good one back here. Let's go. Let's see what we can do this drive. Here we go. Drop back coverage. Ah, he's open. Fuck six, man. All out pressure here. Like we got Corey Littleton. When Corey Littleton's on the field, you know this is a, a rare play call. Get there. Nope. Just absorbed all that pressure. Easy throw to Jarvis Landry. It's unbelievable. Too easy. I, don't, I just got this feeling in my plums that Jameis Winston's not going to play like Jameis Winston. There's going to be no turnovers to be had. What are the odds? Playoff on the line. Jameis Winston plays the cleanest game. Here we go. We might got a little bit of a red zone stand here. Literally got no plays we can run. Come on, boys. Who's Wilson? Oh, you know what? It's because I, I signed someone on the practice while my depth chart got all fucked up. How? How are we not fixing this? But I'll take it. Jack Thompson brings down Jones Jr. They're going for it. Oh, my God. No. Come on, man. We got off the field. We're going to think it over, hopefully. Take the points. We did our job. Turnover. Go! Needed that. That is a bailout. Who's that 14? Man, I hate that my playbook's all messed up. I'm going to have to fix this. I'm going to have to fi I'll fix it at halftime. This is unbelievable.
So we'll get that one to Mims. Run away a little bit. A little bit more speed than Visky Chanel, I suppose. This for us. Come on. Nope. Nope, no chance. Who's that? 59? Jackson. 65 overall linebacker. Just dead to rights. Dead to rights. So one thing, I will say, out of all my complaints, I don't have a lot of them on all Madden. The CPU tackling is the worst. That is the most unrealistic aspect of my current set of all Madden sliders. They don't miss a fucking tackle. That one broken tackle we had last week with CMC, that was like the only one I think we've got all year. All right, I fixed the depth chart. Everything back to normal here. Firing on all cylinders. Come on. Come on, Derek Brown. You just had like a heater against the box and you're getting pancaked. Left, right, and center like you're a Waffle House. Third and five. Get off the field here. There we go. Who gets the pressure? Brian, who else? Who else? Like this. Oh, yes. He breaks the tackle. Oh, my God. We're getting a couple break tackles now. CMC. He knows he's got to put this team in a backpack and carry us if we're going to win here today. Oh, yeah. Need that. Beautiful. Get the little unnecessary spin move up to the one-yard line. C4 special. This isn't necessarily in CMC's wheelhouse. Actually, I like that left. To the left. It's all about 33, that linebacker. If that guy doesn't make the right read, just not blocked up at all. Fuck me. Come on. Man, we don't even have CMC out there for Texas rough cheese. There we go. Take that. It's cheesy enough. Denzel Mims ties this one up. Hopefully that gets a little bit of confidence for Baker Mayfield as well. And we are kicking our points now. Third and ten. I had a chance for a quick three and out. I'm going to just try and do whatever I can here against Michael Thomas. He's going underneath. He's going underneath. Someone make a play for God's sakes. Yes! Gross Matos brings him down. We'll burn our time out. Quick throw. They bring the linebacker blitz. Take that all day. It is up. It is a perfectly timed kick. And we should be at least able to get into halftime here with a lead. At half, the Panthers are still in the playoffs. Oh, Keith! No chance. Get out of here. Eat that shit a lot. I mean, they should take the points here, but they might not. What a play, though, from our linebackers. As we hold the Saints to three, we're tied up at ten. Bring that down. Bring that down. All right, this is back. This is the Mims play. That, like, see how he, he does that little stutter, a little fake? We hit him there. He was open. We got to let that develop if we can. I think it might be a big play for us. Or actually, sorry, I forgot any player that you have to take a little bit of patience to let develop. If the other team has a half-decent pass rusher, you're just going to get eaten alive. Cam Jordan just goes, nah. Taylor Moten on the ground. That's where he does most of his playing anyways. God, what a fucking terrible player Taylor Moten is. Like our defense is really like the Dallas Cowboys last year. Dallas Cowboy defense wasn't really much. They just had an insane amount of turnovers. Full credit to Dan Quinn on that. But, you know, I really do think our Panther defense is reminiscent of that Trayvon Diggs-led Cowboy show. And we just don't have, unfortunately, a Micah Parsons. But Brian Burns is pretty good. Keith Taylor at the sticks. First down, though. Jimmis Winston cutting our defense up this drive. No pressure. Third and eight. Coming up. Mine. Oh. There's not a hotter corner. Literally, as I just 
relate this team to the Dallas Cowboys in real life of the 2021 season? Look at that thing. Okay, let's get some, I mean, there, there comes a point in time, though, we're going to have to throw the ball. We're going to have to connect. Look at that. Boom. DJ Moore. He's alive. He has a pulse. He's still on this team, even though he's been collecting dust most of this season because he, he has one job and he can't get open a whole lot. Comes up big for us there. Oh, CMC into Saints territory, into scoring range. Over 100 yards rushing here today. LaVisca Chanel runs away from Demario Davis. And he is into the red zone. Let's punch it in. CFC. Give me a block. 77. Deontay Brown off the practice squad. Mr. Blastoise. And they do a great job. Hey, Taylor Moe, that's his best play all year. CFC is in. Panthers regain the lead. Oh! Go to this guy. There you go. There you go to this guy. Come on, I was with him for the... Oh. We'll go T.E. Angle, Tremble, Chanel. Third and six. Got to need this man. We need it. We need to get back all our momentum. Just makes the no look over the shoulder pick, dude. I'm almost like, do we give Matt Corral? I mean, Baker has not been playing very well. Like, what can we do? We see what the kid can do if he has the clutch genes to get us into the playoffs. Seems a little. A little too dramatic. Oh. Oh. I don't know if that's going to stand, but JC, if JC Horn forced that pick, he might be the best DB in the NFL this year. Or forced that fumble. That st it stands. Wow. JC Horn forced fumble. Bails us out. Too bad Baker Mayfield's confidence is absolutely shot right now. Third day, let's give him, I mean, I want to say let's give him an easy pass to CMC, but it's those middle passes with pick, trying to pick on those linebackers that have been kicking our ass here today. Fuck, man, do I switch to, I don't know. I feel like I should, I should make the switch to Corral, but we got a ride or die with Baker, I think. Mine. <laughs> Let's go! He's unstoppable! That is the most unstoppable player in the NFL. Oh, you're going to go slant God? You're just going to throw a dink and dunk to Michael Thomas? J.C. Horn says, ah-ah! Steals his lunch! Come on. I trust you. I, my belief in you is so high that you can hit this. Testing JC Horn. Third and four. Get out of here. Force the punt. It's two the clock. Can we make a play on the ball, Shaq Thompson, please? Even a PB, you get a hand in there. Anything. I'll just stand and look at him. Get out of here. I don't even know what that was. But here we go. I mean, this is not game. We're going to have to get a first down if they don't get this. But I, I'm not worried. Where are you going? Where are you going to go with this? Almost a pick. Let's go, baby. CMC closes shit out. We're going to the playoffs. This is a tired Panthers team. Uh, tired. We're both tired. But I think they're more tired than we are. 
Fans have been completely taken out of this game here. But uh, the defense did a good job there. Didn't give up a single yard. Okay, we need a gong. If you could ever give us a gong, that is a perfect kick. There we go. They got to go. No chance. Or we'll just get a safety, potentially. There we go. Man, this is classic. Classic Jameis Winston right now. Mine. Get him the fuck out of here. Get him out of here. Best secondary in the NFL. Playoffs. Bet you thought we were going to lose. I bet you thought there was going to be a way we would choke both games and not make the playoffs. Offensively, maybe that was the case. But in a, a gotta-have-it scenario, we lean on the two things that have been consistent this season. Not our quarterback. Not our passing game. Christian McCaffrey, 37 touches, 140 yards, two touchdowns. Also had 58 yards through the air. Shout out to Mims who had the touchdown. But we relied on Christian McCaffrey, and we relied on a... a Super underrated defense that forces and lives and thrives and feeds off of turnovers. Two picks, J.C. Horn. One from C.J. Henderson. And the Carolina Panthers, just barely. Seventh seed, final playoff team. We fucking earned it. Let's get confirmation. We're going to sit right to the next week. There we go. In the playoffs. Here we are. Look at us. Playoffs, baby. Did not think we would get here. Honestly. Nine and eight. It was a log jam. You know, are, are we deserving of the playoffs? I mean, Cardinals were nine and eight. Lions were nine and eight. Giants, Bears, one game out. It was it was tough. It was tough. But we started this episode in a playoff spot. We lost to the Bucks. We handled business. We beat the Saints. And now, I mean, hopefully we're not humbled. Hopefully... You know, we don't get exposed. I mean, we Saints are a playoff team. We beat them. So we should be able to hang with the night. I'm not worried about Trey Lance, right? What I am worried about, I mean, you look at the big picture. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do like a full stat dive whenever this ends, hopefully with a Super Bowl victory. But Christian McCaffrey, second leading rusher, 1,700 yards, 19 touchdowns. We got interception leader, does go down. J.C. Horn, 10 picks. But look at the sack leader. We've had... A very difficult time blocking even just solid pass rushers with Taylor Moten. Nick Bosa, 23 sacks. I mean, Joey Bosa shattered the record with 26 there. A little worried. To be honest with you, a little worried to be honest with you. But we made the playoffs, man. And I, I already had it on my whiteboard. Literally, I had Sunday Panthers offseason. I, I didn't believe that we'd make the playoffs. But... Sunday, we will be it'll, be, it'll drop, I'll make sure it gets out well before kickoff of all the Sunday football games on Sunday, like probably like 12 Eastern, 1 Eastern, somewhere in that range. We will have this game in its entirety. Hopefully we can win. If not, I mean, I don't want to say we overachieved. 9-8, and eight, this Panther, we're an 84 overall. You know, 9-8 and eight is, I would say our ceiling. This isn't a double-digit win team. But I was thinking, you know, as low as four or five wins was our floor and nine wins was our absolute ceiling. I think that's very much applicable to real life Carolina this year. And, I mean, we had, we had some, some great breaks along the way, man. You got to say, you know, LaVisca Chanel, Trey, you, you know, we had to make that trade. Keith Taylor going into business for himself as a player-agent hybrid. We won at Quez. He came back with LaVisca Chanel. Not only is he our leading receiver, finished with well over a thousand yards, one up superstar, another superstar playmaker. Because you know it's probably likely DJ Moore loses that superstar because he didn't do anything this year. So at least we're still gonna have that superstar wide receiver beyond this season. Defensively, you know the trade for Roquan Smith, absolute tackle machine this season. As Roquan finishes 146 tackles, 13 TFLs, three picks, just transformed this defense. And you can't talk about our team without talking about the secondary. J.C. Horn, 10 picks. Dante Jackson, 6 picks. 
five picks for Henderson. I said coming in, I think our secondary, I said this is episode one, previewing this squad, our secondary is incredibly underrated. And that is exactly what they proved to today is both Dante Jackson and JC Horn started the year on star, finish on superstar. And it might not be the end. Who knows? When we get that rollover of all the, the dev trade upgrades and decreases and all that stuff, we might still get an additional boost before all is said and done. But that is for another day. Let's let's take this doubleheader. We go one and one. We're in the playoffs. I will see you guys back here Sunday, bright and early, for the wildcard game on the road at the Pants Stadium against the 11 and 6, 86 overall. Nick Bosa led 49ers. I mean, that's gonna be a tough matchup. We're gonna use a Roquan to try to slow down George Kittle. What kind of dual threat is Trey Lance going to be? Like a Trent Williams who's gonna be eating whoever alive. That's going to be a good game, man. So I will see you guys back here then. As always, if we can hit a 1,000 likes. We made the fucking playoffs. 1,000 likes on this video, please. And thank you. Leave a comment in the comment section below with all questions and concerns. Subscribe if it's your first time stopping by. We're very close to 160,000 subscribers on the channel. Would love to hit that by the end of September. That'd be awesome. Maybe let's set some goals there. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. There will be a brand new rebuild. Then we'll have pink slips. Great week of uploads. I'll see you then. Peace out. Love you. Have a good one.